Do you like to live dangerously? Like James Bond style? <laughs> then come live dangerously with me. Oh God, it's another giant. I seriously don't know whether this is a good decision or a bad decision. That is scary. Probably a good decision, especially if we catch fish, but I'm a little scared because I don't understand things. You know when you do something that's totally different from anything you've ever experienced and you're just kind of throwing yourself into that mix? That's what's about to happen. We're back in Alabama. Stay tuned for a, this will be a true adventure because I, I have no idea how this is gonna play out. <laughs> What's up my boys? It's good to see you guys again. Thanks for watching and checking into this video. As usual, I appreciate your support. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button as we move forward. Check out Bass Attitude and my boys at Tech Warehouse. Yeah, yeah. Why am I so freaked out? And it's not because my tire looks like this. It's not, all right. It won't be long before over there, I'm gonna have a carport and a driveway. I'm not gonna have any money anymore, but I'm gonna have a carport and a driveway. And it's gonna be like my little fishing house. We'll, we'll do a video on it when we get there because that's what's happening and I'm getting my freaking truck stuck. Not acceptable. Why am I so scared though, you ask? And it's because I'm a big fat P-U-S-S-Y. I wonder if I get censored if I spell it. So here's the deal. It, the, the, well, like water and current, we're on the TVA. We're going to the TVA. We're actually going to Wilson Lake. Current is a huge thing. Everything has to do with current, at least for the most part, except when they spawn, you know, and things like that. But everything's about current because it is a river system. So current right now is pumping at a massive, massive rate out of the dam. Now, this is really good. It can create for some good fishing. However, maneuverability of the boat, safety stuff, I've never really experienced it. So I'm going to be very, very careful. I want to catch some fish. I want to freaking get out there and get after it because I'm going to have to learn this stuff. But I'm going to be very, very careful because I've never fished any of this kind of stuff before. This much current, this much power. Water is such a powerful thing, dude. It's dangerous. I'm not going to lie. I'm like super spooked, dude. It's going to be... And anything you guys want to help me with when it comes to fishing current, doing it safely and doing it smartly, drop it in the comments box, dude. I will take any advice I can get. Current fishing. First time ever. Pop that cherry balls. Pop that cherry. Let's go. And the speed trap. Is it still there? Mm. Check that out. That is scary. We are here and I am unbelievably sketched out. So here's what we're gonna, the problem here is the following. See the dam down there? They are pumping every single freaking gate. But the wind's blowing, current's coming this way, the wind's blowing that way. And then you get this, raucous freaking seas, dude. Those are like three to four foot white caps out there. So we're gonna play small ball. What we're gonna do is we're gonna drop this boat in. There's a small bay here and there's a couple like openings, like little opening, like mouths that create like eddies. We're gonna fish super small. We're gonna fish this almost like a pond. We're gonna try to play around in here a little bit, see if we can catch some fish. There's no way in hell I'm going out there unless I got a freaking like 40 foot yacht. Unless I can sneak out there gradually, but dude, I, I ain't playing around. I ain't freaking capsizing. We're gonna catch some fish. We're gonna make this happen. Fish on, guys. Fish on. Oh, really? What the hell is that thing? It's like some crazy looking thing. We don't want that, though. <clears throat> so. Caught a weird fish and I literally stuck a hook in my knee. Right there. Nice job, and I ripped it out with the pliers. It's a great way to start, Mike. Fish on. I have no idea what we got, but it is big. Oh god, oh my god, oh god. It's a giant largemouth. Dude, look at this. <laughs> come here. Come here. Oh my. Come here, come here. Guys, I don't even know what to say. The wind is blowing. This leg is getting tore up. Freaking, I stuck a treble hook on my knee when we caught some fish and I don't even know what it is. It looked like a, like a baby tarpon. So here's what we did. I'm really afraid of the, of the water out there and I'm afraid to run it. But there's still, there's current eddies and stuff you can take advantage of here. So we got on this bluff wall right here. You can see how the water mixes and comes around. And I didn't catch anything on a swim bait. 
Didn't catch anything on a square bill, but I decided to, to get out. I actually caught one like white bass on a square bill, but I got out like a little finesse jig and that, that current eddy's right there and it drops and creates like a ledge. So I got like a little, I don't even know what kind it is. It's just some little finesse, like three eighths ounce jig and slung it down there. And we caught the last thing I thought we'd catch a freaking largemouth. Check this out. <laughs> oh, look at her. Oh, come here, come here. I'm gonna let you go, honey. I think there's more down there too. Oh, you don't want to be let go. You want to live with me like Bog? Are you Bog 2.0? Look at that fat largemouth, dude. Look at that. That's what we came to Alabama for. Look how fat she is. All right, we're gonna let her go real quick because we're about to drift onto a bar. Peace out, chief. We're gonna go back and fish that some more. <laughs> That's, dude, I was about ready to give up and throw in the towel. I'm like, man, I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm gonna like freaking wreck something. Yeah, I just wrecked a largemouth bass. Boom! Guys, they're stacked up right behind this bluff wall point. The water's mixing and it gets really, it's not super clear, but it's a lot clearer than every place else. And it's just creating an eddy wash around that point. Oh dear, I thought I just got bit again. I'm just casting to that point and really just dragging the jig back, just popping it a few times. I think there's a lot of them down there. And look at what it looks like on the graph. You can see them even just swimming down there. Fish on. It's another giant, dude. That's a freaking stud. We're on to school, guys. Oh my God, that's a big one. I don't know if it's a large mouth or it's a big large mouth. Oh God, guys, 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 look at that. <laughs> look at that, dude, look at that. I gotta, I gotta get back in there, this is so cool. Oh. Fish on. Just had to let it sit down there for a minute. Oh yeah. Oh, I think it's a smallie. It was a smallie. We lost a smallie. Oh, gosh, gosh, guys, gosh. gosh. It's we got one on the net, and I think it's a smallie. Oh, my God. Please be a small mile. Please be a big small mile. Oh, yeah, dude. It's a, it's a giant, giant smallie. This is JT Kenny's magnet. I put a chartreuse tip ace on there. Come here, come here. Like a three pound freaking smallie. And then, oh guys, oh guys, this is the most unbelievable day. This is so awesome. Danger, we spit in your face. And who says living dangerously doesn't pay off? Oh, dude, smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. We caught a small and a big one. That's exactly what I wanted to do on a magnet head. Check this freaking Goldie out. Small Joe, small. Joe. Guys, this is exactly what I wanted to do out here. This place is known for freaking giant smallies just like this. We caught some big largemouth. We're gonna get back in there, but like, oh my God. Look at you. I, I don't, I'm blown away. I'm blown away. All right, let's let this thing go real quick and let's get back in there with that magnet. See you later, buddy. Peace. I love Alabama. Sweet home Alabama. Guys, here's what we rigged up for that smallie. This is just a chartreuse tip fat ace that we cut down right there you can see it's got the chartreuse core in it i have a jtk um this is a magnet head with a little bit of a brush guard there's a little bit of shell down there and all i'm doing is threading that thing on there just a hair bringing that hook out sliding it up and that's our deal smallie life baby fish on that's a giant dude that is a giant, please. Oh my gosh. I think we got a giant smallie. She's so, oh my God, guys. Oh my God. I hope she cut the hook good. We're gonna ease off a little bit. Oh my gosh. Oh guys, look at that smallie. Look at that. Oh, come here. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Look at that thing, dude. Look at that. Oh, I got them lined up, boys. Wait till I show you what these things are on. It is the most five minute boat ramp spot ever. Fish on. 
That's another good smolly right off the freaking point there. I hope I got her hook good. I think it's a smolly. Whoa, guys. Whoa, that's a giant smolly. I got him lined up now, boy. Oh my God, this is like a five pound, five and a half pound smolly. And she is about to go crazy. Oh my God. Oh my God. Dude. Dude. Dude, please come to the boat. Please come to the boat. Oh my God. Oh my God. That is a gigantic smallmouth bass. Oh my God. Come here. Come here. Come here. I got, it's like a six pound smallmouth. Dude, what, how does this even happen? Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh, Nelly is what they say, boys. Oh, Nelly. Oh my God. First, we're gonna make another cast because we got them figured out. <laughs> Guys, this is by far the most unbelievable day I've had in Alabama thus far. I've never caught mixed species insanity, smallmouth, largemouth. Only thing we're missing is spot, but that might even happen. We need to get these fish released. I, I kept two big smallies to show you guys, and I'm gonna weigh one of them. Cause I was up in Michigan last year, and I think I caught like a five, four smallie, which is my PB smallie. Cause this is the biggest smallmouth I've ever had on in my life. This is freaking insanity. Oh, the magic bait. Oh my, dude, that's all you guys. Look at that freaking thunk lump, I guess. I think we might have her beat. This thing is gigantic. I mean, these, oh. <laughs> I, these are studs, dude. Bassmaster Classic deals. All right, guys, here we go. She is on the scale. Four pounds, four pounds. I think she might even be a little bigger than that, but. We're gonna let her go and then we're gonna do the big one. Bronze, bronze life, baby. <laughs> Look at that. All right, peace. See you later, honey. Go swim. Let's get this other one weighed. This one is all shoulders. Are you? Look at, Look at that. Look at that. I mean, that's just freaking gigantic. We get the scale set. <laughs> oh my god. Oh guys, it's gonna be close. It's gonna be close. Come on, come on. Five, nine, guys. Five, nine, almost six pounds, like five and a half, a strong five and a half. I think that's my PB. The most epic adventure I have had. Let's get her gone. Cause we gotta, we might even catch more. We might even catch a spot. Look at that thing. Look at that. It's so pretty. Oh my God. I love Alabama. Oh, caught them both on a Ned rig too. Talk about doing Florida and the AL. Oh my God. And we mixed it up a little bit. I got my rebarb hook, my little West Coast drop shot weight, and I got a little Domeki stinger. This is a compact presentation because I really do want to catch the smallies more than anything. All I'm doing is wacky rigging it. The reason I like that is see how it twitches like that? It also is super compact for these smallies. I had them miss the jig quite a few times. So you really got to kind of size it down and give them something they can chew on but they're big, boy. Fish on. Oh dear. On the drop shot. Oh God, it's another giant. Oh God, it's another giant. We've only got eight pound test. We gotta go lightly. Oh dear. We done hooked a giant. Oh my God. Oh God. Oh God, what are you doing? Why are you backwards? <laughs> oh, Nelly, boys. Oh, Nelly. <laughs> this is an all new Oh, Nelly. She's pulling the boat, dude. Guys, we're just switching up baits and we're switching. Oh my God. Look at this. This might be the big biggest out of all of them. God, did she ate it. It's another like four pounder, guys. And the hook just came out right in my finger almost. Look at that thing. On the drop shot, wacky rigging of course, cause that's all we do around here. Oh, that thing is beautiful. We should throw again. Throw again. Fish on. Guys, it's another smallie. Got out of crankbait. Get in here. 
Bog would be losing his mind. Guys, I don't have Bog with me because, uh, God, that's a delicate swallow. Uh, the, the current is so dangerous. Hi, <laughs> that I, I don't want to take a chance with him falling out of the boat because he doesn't swim the greatest. He can swim, but uh, we don't want to lose Bog, do we? Put it down in the comments box. We, we don't want to lose Bog. We don't need a new Bog yet, right? <laughs> the most awesome death by fish day. I thought I was going to get killed out here. I was seriously freaked out, dude. That current is so powerful. I don't totally understand it. And coming out here was a huge risk. But we fished small and it paid off. A funny story. I broke off every single bait that I had tied on. But what we caught him on was a drop shot with a Dominky Stinger. We'll put it all down in the description box. You can find links to Tackle Warehouse. Caught him on this finesse jig. I forget. I think it's a War Eagle finesse jig. Just with a little net bait like trailer. I mean, real compact. Missed some smallies on there. And then of course a Ned Ray. It was the JT Kenny Mag Ned from Nichols. We just cut off a fat ace and the water is a little dirty because there is all that current kind of wish washing everything around. So we used, let me show you the fat ace that we used. We would cut this guy down. You can see the chartreuse in the back. It's just green pumpkin chartreuse and those smallies liked it. They picked it up. They wanted a smaller presentation. I missed quite a few fish that bit the claws off that jig. So I kind of downsized and that's when we started catching those Magnum smallies. We did catch a few too on crankbaits on a DT10 Rapala. Um, they were kind of fish they weren't nearly as big as those finesse fish the big key we would just kind of drag that bait and fish that current break and there's some shell some rock a little bit of wood down there and let me show you on the graph on my C map real quick really what was like the key because we're actually don't tell shh, shh, don't tell anybody we we're ledge fishing so you can see my trail right here it's kind of crazy so this is a deep hole and then the current swings around what we were doing is fishing that deep hole that deep hole comes up up See how it comes up to a flat? It's basically a ledge, a very gentle kind of ledge, as well as that current swing. And the fish were all right here. We would set the boat up right about here. We'd cast right to there. And then we'd drag up and it's washed away with shell and all that stuff. But dude, just a magnum freaking spot for smallies and some big large mouth. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We looked around. And dude, we found the mother load. That was freaking awesome. A mixed bag of large mouth, big large mouth, and big freaking small mouth. My PB Smalley. I know Bog's not here, so I can't say for the sake of Bog, but dude, that was the most epic day I've ever had in Alabama. That was insane. Smash that like button. Smash that subscribe button. If you guys think I should have done something or tweaked something a little different, I always like hearing your feedback and your insights because you guys know a ton of fishing like stuff too. So hearing what you have to say, hearing kind of how you see the water as I'm kind of fishing it, really helps me to kind of grow what I'm doing and I really appreciate it. So throw some comments down in the box. Let me know what I should have thrown, how I should have tweaked my presentation. But guys, an epic day out here on Lake Wilson. This was freaking awesome. Guys, make sure to smash that like and subscribe button. This was the most epic day I've ever had in Alabama. I love freaking hanging out with you and doing this stuff. It doesn't always work out perfect. It's been such a learning experience for me. I feel like a kid where I'm learning everything over again. And I gotta be open-minded. I gotta take my time. I gotta fail a lot. That's just a part of the process. But today, hey dude, I'm gonna go home and just dwell on it. This was so freaking awesome. I can't tell you how just fired up and stoked that I am. I've never done anything like this before. And that's what makes it so fresh and so neat. You know, you fail, you, you, you don't succeed, you learn little things, you try to reapply them, and you get a little lucky too. There's nothing wrong with that, but an epic day. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks for hanging out with me. Stay tuned, make sure to subscribe, and we'll be back out searching for giant fish or any fish, anything that bites, because that's what we like to catch. Till then, tight lines, guys, we are out.